time I went fishing and I caught a fish that big. I've never caught a fish that big. When you think of the national parks, you think of Yellowstone. It is the first of our parks. Yellowstone teaches us how to handle pressure. To me, it reminds me of so many different personalities that we all have. Let me explain. You know, there's always that member of your family who's calm, cool, and collected on the outside, but inside he's a cauldron. You don't know what he's thinking, but if you set him off, you'll hear about it. Well, that's Old Faithful. You want the guy who just kind of lets it go a little bit at a time because you do not want to tick off Uncle Bob, which just kind of erupts everywhere, all right? You need to pace yourself. On the other hand, the hot pots and small geysers, they're kind of like that girl you met for the first time that had those blue eyes. They were so piercing, and you look at them, and as a man, you're like, I'm never dead. You couldn't sputter out sentences. It was so beautiful. Well, that's what they look like. You get lost in them. Who comes up with these names? Sheep Eater Cliffs. Apparently, something is out here eating the sheep, which means I'm getting back in the car. What do you like about uh, Yellowstone? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. All right, let's go down the list of stuff. Bison. Geysers. Elk. Or eagles. I like the eagles. Eagle. Oh, you you yeah. see an eagle? Yeah. yeah. You've seen an eagle. How about a bear? Bear. Bear. I've seen a, I've seen a bear. What's a bear look like? Ooh. Roar! <laughs> That's a crazy That looks like a geyser, actually. <laughs> That was pretty bad. No, I like, no, no, don't, do not, do not down yourself, because I think you could turn pro with that. <laughs> There's a lot of different places you can stay when you go to the national parks. If you get a chance, by all means, stay at the lodges. The Yellowstone Lodge is one of the best. It is all wood. I mean, and it's amazing that over a hundred years, this thing has withstood all the fires and all the tragedies that happened to so many of the others. John Coulter is credited for being the first person to come to this area and discover its natural beauty. When he told the people of the area, they thought he wasn't telling the truth. Up came Jim Bridger, and he was known to spin a yarn or two, so when he started telling people about Yellowstone, they're going, now we know it's not true. So more people came. I didn't say more on people, more people came. I'm gonna find it here in the... William F. Reynolds made his way up to this area. And he said the same things they did. But he seemed to have a little more credibility. So we, when he went back and told of the wonders of Yellowstone, it stuck. People have been coming ever since. People come for thousands of miles to check this out. You have a little West Virginia in you, okay. Oh, I'm from Carbondale, Illinois. It's not uncommon for people to come here and stand for hours. Okay, not hours. 60, 70 minutes waiting for old people to go off. So which is your favorite park? Well, my favorite planet is Earth, but I don't know how much I want to share. No, that is good <laughs> stuff. That's what I pull up a chair. Now that we have established your love of Earth, what's your favorite national park? Well, because I like time and space and like to be in the moment, I think I'll have to choose this one right now. Obviously, the main reason you come to Yellowstone is to watch Old Faithful erupt. 88 minutes divided into 86,400 seconds, 24 hours. That means it erupts about 20, 19 times a day. It's kind of give or take 10 minutes within 90 minutes. If you need to let off a little bit of steam and do something fun with the family, this is where you need to go. Put the kids in the car, go for a drive. You're going to love every moment while you're there. Kids will be relaxed, you'll be relaxed. And Uncle Bob... How's that for mathematics? Man, how... He might have a good time too. Not for anything, because I was still... <laughs> you, no, you're you the had one me the one. The And that's Yellowstone National Park.
You must be solitary with nature to find the animals in their natural habitat. Off the side you see right here is the road grader. So sleek, so beautiful nestled into the trees as it is. Because Yellowstone Lodge is just an example of the crown jewels and I can't figure out what I'm going to say after that. God shed his grace on thee. Bum, 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 and in the 70s, the bear has had, bear has, <laughs> two of them, they travel in pairs. Some of its other relatives, beautiful. Not to mention the food, man. If you ever get a chance to eat a buffalo burger, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, buffaloes do die in the process of making a burger, but they make new ones every day. You eat it, they grow it, they'll get you another. I promise, I'd hug you. I'd probably get a little sappy. Ah, come here, you knucklehead. I didn't say rolling. So you I... know the sweat things around your armpits are throwing me off just a, just a bit. Sorry. No way you have any friends. <laughs> hey.